what happens next is just shocking. Cut 0-21, the Team Kiwi car, Chris Pither behind the wheel, arrived on the scene there, could not get out of the way in time. That is an awful sight, it's a huge impact. Both cars, of course, completely wrecked. on the way into yeah. it and that could be the reason why he doesn't that, have any pace but we'll wheel. find out from oh, oh big that problem a car has rolled and that is the clellan jones falcon it's gone over on its head john clellan at the wheel and i think that was jason plato wasn't it the hrt car that he's connected with too well i need to see it again in replay but uh hopefully john is okay no that's the other car there yeah Neil. So he's tripped over the Plato car that was limping back to the pits at slow speed. That is John at the wheel. And he's punching the, gla the glass out the side and wriggling out, so the Scott is OK. Oh and that is John Cleland, and that's a good sight. Good to see him out. Here's the he's, replay. He's well offline. Oh, what's it? Oh, oh, he's come oh, out behind another, another car. another car. Yeah. Uh, Jason was, I mean, he was well offline. He's right around the outside. Safety car, safety car. Track may be even blocked. Well, there you go. That's the word from Pit Lane. So they're telling Scape that the track may be oh, blocked. No. And that's why a four-car pilot. It is blocked. It is seriously blocked. This is a race stoppage kind oh, of blockage. Look at this. Scenes of yesteryear. This Only is, a little uh, further down the road. This is 1981 all over again, folks. One of the Shell Helix cars involved in there. The Orcon race is in there as well. Now, if they can move at least one of those cars, they'll be able to keep this field threading through it. Let's have a look at the ring line. Look at them lining up behind him now. This is car 18, so Max Wilson going in. Behind him is the Orcon Falcon. They touch oh. there. Jason Barguana side by side. They spin. That's not the end of it. Crunch. Oh, boy. Barguana involved in two incidents in the space of a lap. And that second one was a nasty one. The HRT car is not quite comfortable in... Someone's oh! got... Ambrose has had a massive shunt. Ambrose has had a massive shunt. So Greg Murphy's involved. More cars. The track is jammed. The track is jammed. Can you believe that? That was huge. And look at this. The track completely blocked. Okay there, mate? It could be game over. It could be Mark Scaife's victory. We have passed the 75% distance. What will this man do? What will the race director, Tim Schenken, do? And how did that happen? More to the point. Greg Murphy's tank. Cars are it. getting through. Cars are getting through. They may not red flag it. Murphy is out of the car. Ambrose stepping from the car. Did these two tangle? And watch that. this. Look at these guys. It's on. It's Murphy on. and Ambrose. These two do not like each other. And they are going to have some serious words. Look at this. They are two heated men. They are two heated competitors. Can you believe this Super Cheap Auto 1000 has ended like this? Well, it's not over yet. Here's a replay. What happens here? Here's the leaders. You've got to look at the corner of the frame as the cars head up to the cutting. Oh, big, big trouble between Ambrose and Murphy. Ambrose was sideways on the exit of Griffins. And look at that. <laughs> they were coming up there almost side by side. Ambrose perhaps... I tell you what, he went so close to climbing Over that the wall, wall and yeah. actually getting out into the bush there. Goodness me. They need to bring on. Yes! Oh, no, out of business. Scott Pye has had a huge accident. This will be a safety car. You right, buddy? It's near McPhillamy there. And Scott Pye makes very heavy contact. Let's listen. with the wall. Fortunately, there's a lot of side intrusion protection there, but that was nasty. Paul Radisic, here's the replay. Watch oh, here. No, he's running out the road. Look at this, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness me, that is a shocker. Oh, no. That is big, big impact.
He's gone around the outside of the Super Chief Commodore and cannot pull this car up. No, it's on the edge of the sand trap there, Lee, so uh, he can't get his, he just can't get the pace off the car. But right now the fans relishing him in front. Great battle going on behind him as Greg Murphy, the HRT teammate. Oh! oh that's the bottle magic car! Trimble and Mazira, that's the entry. Thomas Mazira was behind the wheel. Goodness me, you could hear those tyres screaming. Where was it coming from? It was Mazira, I think. Coming down Conrad State, he must have had a massive oh. brake failure or something. That was unbelievable. He just went straight off into the sand trap. Let's have a look at the replay of that. That was over at Caltex Chase. Well, the safety mechanisms in these cars generally look after the drivers. Let's look at the replay. Well, you can wow. see the massive amount of dust there. He's just carving a groove through that sand over and over and over. Thomas Mazira at the wheel, let's hope he's okay. But you can see the effect of that sand trap. Well, it'll be pretty bad to top that one. Thomas Mazira, thank goodness he's okay. There he is sitting on the grass, but look at that car. Uh, pretty devastating, mate. Um... Poor old Dino's minding his own business and someone's giving him a whack up the uh, backside and turning him around into the wall, so looks like that's the end of us for today. But uh, the car was going really well. We had a little bit of a problem from the start, but... Um, now we're, we're getting reports just now that the car is in fact on fire. Dean is at least out of the car, which is good news, but the car's on fire. No worries. OK. Well, it is a big worry, I think. <laughs> it is a worry. Hopefully they can put it out. <laughs> Five victories overall in season 2003 oh. and that is car 33 nathan pretty and alan simonson and that was either just coming in or has just oh. gone out of the pit because i heard pretty talking uh, really good damage on that car on Full oh dear and there's jason bright and uh, paul wheels entry the team brock car is a wreck paul wheel at the wheel okay mate you're gonna have to come in this lap mate so big impact at the s's Obviously, oh. and it's also involved car number 69 look, look. of Dorman and Jones. There's a heap of oil on the road there too. Ooh. This is the Dorman entry. It goes on a bit of a dirt it's excursion, and now there's a the whole dirt. heap of rubbish left on the track. And whammo! Yeah, it's because he. And then oh. crunch! Oh, car 50. Nowhere to go. How frustrating is that? How well, frustrating is that? Wouldn't have seen a thing, would it? Earlier today, this is the incident involving Paul Radisic in car 15. It's quite hard to watch. The damage is so extensive that car 15 has been ruled out of the super cheap auto Bathurst 1000. From that crash, Paul Radisic has ended up with a...